Hello and welcome to the OpenBLT bootloader introduction presentation. My name is Frank Forberg and in the next few minutes I will explain what the OpenBLT bootloader project is all about. A bootloader makes it possible for you, your field engineers and your customers to update the firmware on your microcontroller based product. What makes the OpenBLT bootloader special is that it is developed as an open source software project. This means that thousands of users have gone through the code, resulting in a very stable and mature software product. It also gives you lots of freedom. You can take the code and modify it any way you see fit, such that it meets your specific bootloader needs. The OpenBLT bootloader package consists of two parts. One, the actual bootloader running on the microcontroller target, and two, the firmware update tools on the host PC. Firmware updates can be made via the serial port, controller area network, USB, the internet or your local network, and even from a locally attached SD card. On the target side, all popular microcontroller families are supported and new ones can be added on demand. The firmware update tools on the host PC work with both Windows and Linux. For those that prefer a graphical user interface, there is Microboot, and for those that prefer the command line, there is Boot Commander. Looking at the memory map, you'll see that there are essentially two independent programs present in flash memory, the bootloader and your own firmware. The bootloader is located at the start of flash memory, where normally the interrupt vector table is located. This means that the bootloader always runs first after every reset. The bootloader evaluates a checksum value inside your firmware to determine if your firmware is present and can be started. Zooming in on the bootloader source code, you'll see that it is divided up into four categories. Application specific code, target independent code, target dependent code, and compiler specific code. In the application specific part, you can configure and tweak the bootloader's behavior to fit your needs without having to change anything in the bootloader core. The target independent part contains all the code independent of the microcontroller. For example, the communication protocol used during a firmware update. The target dependent part implements all the microcontroller specifics such as the flash driver and the communication transport layers. The compiler specifics typically consist of the C startup code and interrupt handling. Thanks to OpenBLT's modular architecture, it is easy to customize the bootloader to your individual requirements and to develop ports for other microcontrollers. A unique feature of the OpenBLT bootloader is that it includes a cross-platform software library for your host PC. It is called libopenblt. Under Windows, it is a DLL file and under Linux, a shared object file. libopenblt packs all the functionality needed to communicate with the OpenBLT bootloader on your microcontroller. It empowers you to quickly and easily develop your own PC firmware update tool in the programming language of your liking. For example, Python, Java, C Sharp, C++, etc. In fact, the same library is used under the hood by the Microboot and Boot Commander tools. The OpenBLT project is completely backed by Feaser. Feaser sponsors all development and maintenance work on the OpenBLT bootloader. It also provides professional engineering services surrounding the OpenBLT bootloader, including technical support via phone and email, integration services for getting the bootloader running directly on your hardware, and customization services to modify the bootloader to meet your requirements. Additionally, Feaser develops and offers several add-on modules. Two popular ones are for firmware data encryption and for an improved checksum mechanism. 
OpenBLT is open source and licensed under version 3 of the GNU General Public License. OpenBLT is free under this license and can be freely used and distributed under its terms. The freedom offered by the GNU GPL comes with responsibilities and side effects that are not always desirable. This is especially the case if you want to integrate OpenBLT in your closed source product or if you don't want your customers to know that your product contains OpenBLT. As an alternative, OpenBLT can be made available under a commercial license. This makes it possible for you to use the bootloader in your closed source product. Getting started with the OpenBLT bootloader is easy. Start by downloading the latest stable release from the Feaser website. If you obtain a low-cost evaluation board for which the OpenBLT bootloader offers demo programs, you can simply follow the instructions from the wiki and you'll have your bootloader running within a few minutes. Note that you can always visit the OpenBLT wiki for more detailed information about the bootloader. Thank you for your time and interest. Feel free to contact Feaser to discuss how we can assist with your bootloader needs.